To understand gain staging, we need to define a couple of terms. For example, what is the difference between gain and volume? Gain is the input level of a signal before it is processed. Volume is the output level. Gain staging is the process of optimizing audio levels at each stage of an audio signal path to get desired results. Let's check out a gain staging scenario, keeping in mind that there are many, many reasons to do different sorts of gain staging in your production processes. I have a dry guitar here. I'm going to add a transient shaper to it to add a little bit of attack to it and make it a little more punchy. Now that I've added that attack, I like this sound, but here in Vision 4X, this line denotes zero dB, and you can see that I am going above it, which means when I get out of this channel, that will be clipping. There are a number of different ways to deal with a peak like that, but we're gonna be using gain staging. So I'm gonna put a gain plugin before the transient shaper in my signal chain and reduce the incoming gain. That's that same note, and you'll notice that we are well below the zero dB crossing here, but we still have the pluckiness or the attack or the transient that had been added by the transient shaper. That's one reason you would wanna use a gain stage to reduce the incoming signal. This is dirty tape from Softube. This is used to add saturation and distortion and other tape machine artifacts to a sound. Let's increase the drive. Now that's adding a good amount of drive there. But with a tape machine like this, we can actually increase the input game and drive it a lot further. You'll notice that the drive parameter is at 10 now. I can't go anywhere past this. So what I'll do is add another gain stage before this plugin and crank it up so we get more distortion. Now we're getting more of that sweet, sweet saturation and distortion because we're driving more signal into dirty tape. Before moving on, I wanna to prove to you that placing the gain before or after something like a dirty tape makes a huge difference. So in the first channel, the gain was before dirty tape, and in the second, the gain was after. I'm gonna solo between the two and listen to the distortion differences between them. You can clearly hear that when the gain stage is increased before the plugin, there is more saturation and distortion. This is a great example of how gain staging can really affect the results of your processing. Now, if you look down here in the device window in Ableton Live, you'll see the different gain staging that we have. Now, it's worth noting that while we are using individual gain plugins here, and most DAWs will have their own, but I'm using the free one from Kilohertz. Most plugins have an input and output gain level. Now the final step in this process will be reducing the overall volume of the track so that we can then bring this into a full mix, for example. That can be done in Ableton Live right here, and let's go ahead and do that. Now the track is much quieter, but we've still got the pluckiness from the transient shaper and the dirtiness from dirty tape, but the overall track is now at a quieter level to be better fit into a mix.